On a rainy day in Norfolk, we've come to see someone who's essentially our neighbour, not very far up the road, because he's fitting an adjustable flue. And I wanted to show you, you know, when it makes the job easier. The, the, the small ones fit in every case, but it's often easier to be able to use the adjustable flue to put it in, fit it in, take it out, do anything like that with it. And because Terry's actually doing it himself, he looks after his own chimneys, he's um, a very competent bloke, um, we've just come to watch him do that. So we come over to Terry's because he's fitting a unit, an adjustable unit to his stove. And the reason he's using that um, gives a very clear example of you know, where it's actually handy to do it. Because um, if you look at his flue, it's fixed, it's quite short, um, but it's invisible going into the top. And the flexible liner is coming through the register plate, so you've got a very simple piece of flue there. Um, you could use a standard unit and you'd have to cut that and wiggle it all around and get it in. Um, but far easier is to put the unit in like that and then just lift the top. Um, and that's what Terry's doing. So he's very kindly let us come and uh, show you how he's doing it, how simple that is. Um, because you know, the, the fitting of standard units, you ha you, you'll have to move the stove, you'll have to you know, disconnect it, and on, especially on short lengths, you haven't got much flexibility to be able to do that. So this is, when you can, a really easy way to do it, because it also means, you know, if you want to um, inspect, dismount, do what any, anything else is, you just loosen off the clip. You just loosen off the clip at the back, drop it down, take it out again. Um, so it, you know, it really does make it much more flexible and easier to handle everything. So that's what's going to happen. Um, and uh, so essentially all we've got to do is, Terry's got to cut it probably twice so that then he doesn't have to disturb the joints either side, drop it down, lift it out, put this in, swap it around. Um, so that's the job. So that's what he's doing today. I'm now about to cut through there and also up there to take that unit out. Right, now it's cut, we need to move the stove forward. Right, uh, cemented the top, or now put some cement in the bottom to seal. Right, so Terry's installed it, um, connected that all up, the air's blowing, nice and cold, um, just going to do a little burn to dry the paint, dry the cement. Um, so the first couple of burns, just do small ones, just like when you're starting out, when you're, you, when you're burning in your, uh, your stove itself. But yeah, it'll just take a couple of little kindling burns, but Terry will find how much hot air comes out just on this, so that's great. So that is how easy it is to install an adaptable Rico heat unit. Thanks very much to Terry um, and we'll leave him to a warmer home in a warmer Norfolk.